Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about my big money bolos, items that I picked up pretty cheap and sold for, I consider, big profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So these are items that I sold on eBay. So let's get started with the first item here. And it is this doll. Now this one didn't go for crazy money. I probably could have held out for more, but I didn't have a lot of money in it. And somebody made me an offer of $38 and I just couldn't refuse it. So let me know if you've ever been in that situation where you think about, you've got best offer on your item and you think about what you have in it and you're like, you know, I think I want the money. And you take it because I had $62 on it and I took 38. So let me know if you've ever been that person. Um, I, I wasn't really sure how to price this. I could not find anything exactly like it. It's an artisan made doll. It's going to take the right buyer. So 38 sounded good to me. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. You probably saw it in one of my Goodwill bins videos. It was a I think it was a collaboration I did with Dad Planet. If you're not following Dad Planet, definitely check him out. I will link him down below. He does a lot of Goodwill Bins videos. I don't get up there as much as I used to now that I'm doing whatnot, but um, I do plan to be making some Goodwill Bins trips. So maybe I can get another collaboration video with him where we kind of, uh, I'm trying to like, it'll be like a scavenger hunt or something like that where we have to kind of compete uh, so let me know if you're interested in seeing something else like that in the future. So this is a vintage originals artisan doll, whimsical fairy rosebud, Atlanta, Georgia, 1999 doll. And look at her. And she's got her little tag here and her little tag here. So this probably came from a little shop or something like that. It was in excellent condition and probably had maybe $2 in it from the Goodwill bins by weight. Here is another one from the Goodwill bins. Now, this one might surprise you guys. It kind of surprised me because it went for really good money. I sold this for a best offer of $79 plus shipping, and it actually sold pretty quickly. It is a vintage American Wago bear, honey bear, plush stuffed animal, and it's 5029 realistic. So took a best offer of 79, picked it up at the Goodwill bins for $1. And just real quick, I want to shout out Perosi House over on Whatnot. She sent me this cute little key that says Bolo. I love it. The next item is this vintage sign Trafari black gold tone red enamel black ladybug. And it is so cute. Um, sold it to a viewer for $62 plus shipping. And... It is signed Trafari. Now look, this is a pin. This is not a brooch. So even if you find the pins, they can still go for good money. So definitely be on the lookout. Do your research. Look things up for sure. Another great thing about this item was the condition was fantastic. A lot of times when you have enamel and stuff like that, there's going to be chips and nicks and all kinds of issues with the pin. And this one looked really great. This was purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Shop store. I always say shop, secondhand store. Check her out. She has a lot of really awesome, unique items, and she is such a huge support to the channel. I recently did a video where she sent me a box of buddy mail. It's an unboxing, and oh my goodness, you guys, she nailed it. The stuff she sent me is stuff that I totally, totally am into and like to list, so check out that video. I will try to remember to link it down below. Look at this big old bundle. Yeah, she's got lots of great stuff in her store. You guys should definitely check it out. It will be linked down below. Uh, you may have seen this one in a reseller vlog. A lot of times on Sunday, I will do a reseller vlog for you guys and get that out. And I'm packing and pulling orders. So if you see re reseller vlog, that means you're going to see me grabbing stuff from totes, showing you how I list things, putting in reseller tips. So if you kind of want to get to the guts of things and not really see screen sharing and actually see me vlogging, you can check out my reseller vlogs. This item is a Halloween trick-or-treat cardigan sweater. I got it at a garage sale for $3.50 and it sold for $108.50 in the buyer paid shipping. Now, is the brand important? Um, I think some brands do better than others, but the important thing is 
is all of the graphics on this sweater. I mean, they are fantastic. And here's the back with the black cat. So look for things that are big and bold and funky and different and weird and they'll sell. They will sell to the right buyer. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a dandy ballerina bunny rabbit blue plush stuffed animal. It's retired from 2003. My sale, I believe, went off and somebody bought this at full asking price of $40. Um, I can't remember if this was from the Goodwill bins or if this, I think this was from the Goodwill bins. And it is a dandy ballerina bunny rabbit. I already read it. Never mind. Disregard. <laughs> All right. Now these knives, they are 12 vintage chef's collection bowl logo knives. I could not figure out what these were, like if they were a special collection, but each knife had like that says fillet knife, that says boning knife, that says carving fork. They were all marked. Now this is just plastic here on the end. But what I will tell you is they had steak knives, the whole set of steak knives. And I kept those steak knives and we use them and I absolutely love them. I picked these up at a garage sale for $5, the entire set. And I kept the steak knives and I sold all of the specialty knives because I'm not really that fancy. Um, I don't really cook that much. So I'm not going to be using knives that are this big. What was great is they had the cardboard and the plastic on them. So that was really great for safe, efficient shipping. Uh, sold these for best offer of $75 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, the vintage Irwin. Irwin Dollhouse MCN Mix Lot. Uh, Goodwill Bins, guys. Another Goodwill Bins purchase. I spent a lot of time on this dollhouse furniture. It was a big bag of dollhouse furniture that was not put together. I had to put it all together and then I made sets, small sets. And it is working out for me. I've sold quite a few. I have a lot listed still because I had a lot to list. So if you're looking for this Irwin dollhouse furniture, definitely check out my store. These items are a little bit harder to find and it does take the right buyer. I sold these for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this also went out to Pinky's secondhand store. This is a vintage barbershop chair coin bank made in Japan. Funny hair today, gone tomorrow. I put this on auction. I picked it up at a garage sale. You guys, I can't remember what I paid for it. It was like a buck or two. And I don't normally pick up things like this, but I was like, I don't know. I just feel like there's a buyer. I believe this went internationally, sold for $49.99 auction and the buyer paid shipping. So it says for bald headed men, no brush, used towel, Hair today, gone tomorrow. And it's a piggy bank. It's a ceramic piggy bank. How funny is that? And it's just a, probably a nostalgic thing for someone. This here, if you... Okay, so you guys have heard of Squishmallows. They kind of range all over the place from bread and butter to big money. This is a Squishable. And it is a cuttlefish. And you're like, how did you know what this was? Well, I used Google Lens. If you don't know what Google Lens is, type in Bolo Buddies. Google Lens into the YouTube search, and I will show you what Google Lens is and how to use it. It is a free tool that every reseller should have. Um, it will save you from going to Facebook groups and saying, what is this? Um, because you're probably going to find it with Google Lens. Now, it's not 100%. Uh, sometimes it pulls up weird things that have nothing to do with your item, but this one I was able to find. I ended up selling this for $50 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And I got that at the Goodwill bins. The FAO Schwartz monster truck costume. The, this literally lights up. How fun is that? And I cannot remember if I got this at the Goodwill bins or if I got it at a garage sale. I want to say I got it at the Goodwill bins, but I got two cars around. No, 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 no. I, I think I got the other car at the bins. So maybe I got this at a garage sale. Probably around $5 for it. I can't remember. Um, I think I also talked about this one in a vlog, but I didn't really, I just showed you a pop-up. So I really want to show you guys more detail about this costume. If you find this one, it is definitely a, um, a Bolo. F-A-O Schwartz. And also include the tag that shows the size, guys. That's always helpful. And let's see... Sold it for 62 buyer paid shipping. The next item, 
also was in my vlog video because I talked about um, selling these as a set instead of individually. And why did I do that? Because it's probably harder to find a complete set to make a king size bed cover. So that's what I did. I put all of these together. It said it would take nine and I sold this for $155 in the buyer paid shipping. I got this at a, um, it was like a, a living estate This for $155 plus shipping. A living estate is where it was from, an estate sale type deal. The next item is this Jewelry 10 Cynth Cynthia Chang or Chung. It's a large figural lizard handmade brooch stick pin. And look at this guy, you guys. He is incredible. This is another situation where my sale was turned off. Sometimes I run a sale. Sometimes there's times when I'm not running a sale. I've been playing around with different sales and different uh, pricing I uh, percentages. I just did a video on that where I talk about it and what my results were. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it down below. You can see here it says Jewelry 10. That is how these are signed. These are a great bolo. When I got it, I thought it was really cool, but I had no idea how much they were actually worth. And this one is a stick pen. It sold for $225 plus shipping. And I have, I think, three or four other ones listed in my eBay store. Christmas Collection Paragon Needlecraft Holiday Delights Jeweled Ornaments. This... I took an offer on, I took a best offer of $40 for this. The buyer was all in for $49.60. This came from an estate uh, clean out as well, uh, from, an, a living, from a living estate. Whoo, I am all over the place with my words today. I'm so sorry. The next item I picked up at the Goodwill Bins. It is an original remote control operating instructions manual for a Pioneer CLD D502. I was at the Goodwill Bins. I don't normally pick up remotes. I'm going to be honest. But um, this one had the uh, instructions manual with it. And it was in a Ziploc bag. And I was just like, ah, it's Pioneer. And I feel like Pioneer is a decent brand. And a lot of people sell remotes. Some of them go for big money. Some of them are bread and butter. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. And I think two or three others I think another one sold already, and then I haven't listed the other ones, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, sold this for a best offer of $41 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage MCM Thief Doctor Shot Measuring Cups. And it's a one ounce, two ounce, and three ounce. They kind of look like little shot glasses. Um, and I think they are. And you measure them like that. I, I don't know. Do people drink shots like liquor by the ounce. <laughs> I, I have no idea, but they are super funky and super cool. Mid-century modern. And these sold pretty quickly for $40.30 in the buyer paid shipping. And I was telling you that Pinky's secondhand store sent me a box of buddy mail, a mystery box essentially. And it had all kinds of amazing items in it. This was one of the items in it. So uh, thank you if you're watching and you guys go check out that video down below to see what else she sent me. It was an awesome box. And I do pop up how I listed everything. I keep it educational. I show you what's sold already. And I think you guys are going to be pretty surprised at the other item that already sold. I was surprised at how quickly it sold. Boyd's Bears. Okay, so I like to pick up Boyd's Bear plush. I typically, the figurines are so long tail. They take forever to sell. They don't usually sell for very much, but for some reason, this one had good comps. It is Lori and Debbie sharing Coco. Probably a limited edition. I'm not really sure. It did take a while to sell. I sold it for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. It was in a thrift store Christmas mystery box, so it wasn't really something I went out and actively searched for. It was something that I got in a mystery box, but very happy with that sold price. Now, this one was a bolo and it sold super fast. It's a 2014 Hallmark The Waltons Christmas ornament. Now, I know to pick up anything Hallmark that is limited edition or like The Waltons, I think maybe is a TV show, anything like that. And this one played music. So I did include a video that showed it playing the song that it worked. If I'm going to list an ornament super high, I'm going to show that it works. Uh, this one here I had at 7150 
And then I also had this one at $42.25. The buyer bought both of them for a total of $108.18. That included discounted shipping and multiple purchase add to cart. So if you add two items to your cart, it will discount. Um, I, I usually am running some sort of promotional offer. So they took advantage of that and the $5 discounted shipping. If you see these right here, the Nightmare Before Christmas Hallmark ornaments, they are also a bolo. Uh, this one came out of a thrift store mystery box, and I picked this up at a thrift store for 25 cents. So definitely two really fantastic items to be on the lookout for. This is a vintage large hand-painted gourd. It's artist signed from 1997. This guy is pretty big. If you can see who it is signed by, put that in the title. And it was vintage 1997. This was kind of a pain to ship. He was really awkward and big. But I uh, got him in a thrift store Christmas mystery box. So a couple bucks in him, maybe less. And sold it for a best offer of 45 plus shipping. The next item also was sold to Pinky's Secondhand Store. She is so supportive, always picking things up from my store. I'm guessing she's going to part these out in her eBay store. So definitely check her out below if you see any of these that you like. They are by, they're super cute. They're by Hildy. They're wall hangings, animal floral pictures with discolorations. So um, when I have something that has a problem, I always put read in capital letters in the title. And if it's something that I really want people to see, I will put discoloration. So you can see right here on the sunflower, there's a little stain up at the top. And right there on the little owls, I think those are owls, there's a little stain discoloration. The lion looks like it's fine. So not all of them, but there are a couple that have discoloration. So always disclose that information. And I sold this for $81.25. The buyer paid shipping and I picked this up at a garage sale for $3. The next item is awesome. It's a little small toy. It's Yoshi. Look how big he is. He's only about three inches. Got him at the Goodwill bin. So probably 50 cents in him. Sold him for $39 plus shipping. And I'm pretty sure that was an international sale as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out those links down below of some of the things I mentioned in the video. If you want to come over to Whatnot, you can get $15 to shop by using my link below to join. It's a referral link. And you're going to get $15 free money. So come hang out at a Bolo Buddies Whatnot show. I hope to see you. And... Check out some of those other things down below. I've got List Perfectly. You can get 30% off of List Perfectly if you use my link and code Bolo Buddies. Um, all one word, lowercase or capital, capital letters, all one word. Just put it in all one word and you'll get 30% off of List Perfectly. That's cross posting. Definitely cross post. Uh, there's a link with a video down below that will walk you through how it works if you want to learn more about that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.